Hello and welcome to Cancun Adventure Mini Golf. This mini golf is located off of 17 Business in Myrtle Beach, slightly north of the airport. Now this mini golf is very unique because it has an interior and an exterior. Two of the courses are partially inside and partially outside. And then the third course, which is ADA accessible, is all outside. So your adventure starts indoors in front of this amazing koi pond. They have a bunch of really big koi fish in here, very impressive, and you can even feed them. That is a really nice touch, especially if you have young ones that find fish and animals exciting. So the course here, you'll notice as we play, the holes themselves are not too drastically difficult or elaborate but the facility built around these holes is unique enough and interesting enough to keep your attention like these walls and the paintings they're all very cool check out those stairs right there this is not the accessible course the two indoor ones are not accessible if you have mobility issues now the walls and the fountains and the paintings are all cool but the landscaping throughout this course as you'll see as we explore and play the course they're all plastic they're all fake plants and i get it you have an indoor facility it's probably very time consuming and expensive to water and maintain all these plants on the inside now once you go outside they have thriving landscaping as you can see and some really unique holes check out this one where you actually hit it down this elaborate series of slides until your ball does its thing so cancun lagoon adventure golf is easy to spot when you're driving down the street it's a big mayan pyramid and from the outside it looks cool on the inside it looks cool too so the aesthetics of this mini golf are a big thumbs up for me personally Again, holes aren't too incredibly difficult, but your attention will be held by the environment for sure. To play a round of golf here, it's gonna cost you $10 per person as an adult. And if you're 10 and under, it's gonna cost you $8.50 for the child admission. Now, as you saw there, periodically throughout the course to keep it you know, spicy and interesting, they have a spinner and you spin the wheel and it'll tell you a specific way to play the course. Kind of mixes it up a little bit and i appreciate that it's not necessary you don't have to abide by those rules but if you just want to have fun with it why not so we're going to move on to the next set of holes so far in the video you saw the first indoor course now we're moving on to the second indoor course and as i mentioned earlier the third course is strictly outside and it is accessible if you have mobility issues now, this course, like the first indoor course, not drastically difficult. The actual dynamics of the greens are not surprising. They're, they're run of the mill, vanilla, if you will, but that doesn't mean they're not fun, entertaining, or challenging. So all of Cancun Lagoon Adventure Golf, I'm gonna have to say for difficulty, it's about average. It's par for difficulty. The aesthetics, the surroundings, similar to another course I reviewed recently, the Jurassic Mini Golf, the surroundings are done really well, but the specific on the green decor and designs are very basic. So I'm going to throw in a fun fact here. On this piece of property, several decades ago, there was a mini golf called Wacky Mini Golf, a very unique, one of a kind before it's time mini golf in the Myrtle Beach area had animatronics and all sorts of good stuff. So Cancun Lagoon Adventure Golf, I give a four golf balls out of five. Definitely worth your time, worth your money. This is what I'd consider a staple mini golf course in Myrtle Beach. So thank you for joining me on this review of Cancun Lagoon. If you want to see other videos of mini golf courses, check the playlist in the description below and also check the other playlists. There's lots of Myrtle Beach content to go around. All right, guys, until next time, everybody, take it easy.